Tell me your name. My name is Matthew Anders. All right, Matthew, how did we get here? How did I get here? Well, I started in a, a, at a very early age in a broken home. Um, I always felt alone because my father was always out doing things that he probably shouldn't have been doing, dealing drugs, doing drugs and all those things. So um, I kind of idolized that as a child because he always had nice cars, always had nice things. Um, fast forward to being a teenager, um, I just felt like I was never accepted. So I would do things just to be accepted in certain by certain people. And um, I guess that led me to drugs because I was hanging out with the wrong crowds, doing the wrong things, doing robberies and all those fun things that come with drug use. Um, so I was in and out of prison most of my life. Um, I found recovery five years ago. On, on December 14th, I'll have five years in sobriety. Um, so that's how we got here. So where does Voices of Hope play into all of this? Actually, I had a friend that was still struggling, a guy that I grew up with that I consider a really close friend of mine. I call him my brother. Um, he was struggling with addiction. I was fresh out of prison. Um, and I had a t two years under my belt, and uh, his son was begging me to help him and try to help figure things out for him. So I was calling around looking for places for treatment. I actually walked into Voices of Hope, and um, I seen a lot of familiar faces. I seen um, a woman that I was running around with, getting high with, and we ran together. And she came down steps. I was like, what are you doing here? And she said, I'm actually a supervisor. So which really blew my mind. And um, so then I started asking questions. And um, I decided that was something I really wanted to get involved with. So I've been working here, on, I work here part time. Um, I do have a full time job also, but um, I've been here 18 months now. Mm -hmm. um, so with working with Voices of Hope, it also gave me the confidence within myself to, to um, fill gaps when, when I seen gaps were needed. Um, I started this organization called All Pass. So we meet people where they're at, no matter where they're at in recovery, as long as they're actively working on each other, on themselves, um, we consider them in recovery. No matter if they're on MAT programs, medical marijuana, they all collect clean time to us. Um, we now have opened, we went from two people looking at each other in a Voices of Hope basement to now having one of the largest meetings at Cecil County. Um, that meeting averages 40 people. And with that being said, we are up to nine meetings a week. Um, and we also just recently opened a recovery house in Hartford County. Um, so, we do also do a homeless outreach on Saturdays to reach out to the communities and let them people know that they're not forgotten and that we can we still love them even if they don't love themselves at the moment. And within two months, I've had four to six people come into treatment from the homeless encampments in Cecil County.